Hey guys, we're here with the LG uh, G2X for T-Mobile and it's coming out next month, I believe? Later this spring. Later this spring. Um, and this is the uh, obviously the, uh, the Optimus 2X that's been uh, ported over here to the US. So to, to tell us a little bit more about the, this dual core device is Chad. Cool. The device actually features the new Tegra 2 processor by NVIDIA. It's actually a dual core processor which is going to give you two point times faster um, gaming experience as well as multimedia. Um, the great thing about that is this is pretty much geared toward a lot of the gamers um, as well as other super phone customers. So what we want to do on this device is we're going to be taking full advantage of the GeForce processor that's in here. It's very, very similar on the first versions of the PS3. So what you're able to do is get console level gaming, um, very low latency. Um, if you notice over here, I'm going to flick over and you'll see something called Tiger Zone, Zone at the bottom. Yeah. Tiger Zone is an actually an application that's free on the Google Marketplace. The great thing about that is actually companies um, that make or develop games or high-end gaming um, can do HD gaming with high-end graphics so you actually get full console level games. Sure. The great thing about the Tiger Zone app is it can only be utilized on devices that are using the Tiger 2 processor. Okay, makes sense. Um, do you think you can give us a, a quick uh, 360 uh, hardware tour of it? Um, absolutely. Um, what this is actually going to be doing, um, this is going to be using a standard Android. Um, and the reason that we use it as a standard or or what we would like to call a vanilla Android. Naked um, Android. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great way to put that. Is This is actually going to be fully upgradable to 2.3. So we wanted to make that as smooth, as simple as possible. Okay, so the less uh, the less carrier stuff and, um, and UI overlays, the easier it is for you to roll out um, version upgrades. Absolutely, and that's the whole goal about this, to be able to do a simple and quick update. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and so, can we take a quick look around the device, the sides, the back? Absolutely. Um, if you notice on the sides, we've got your volume keys over here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, on this side over here, there's actually on the bottom, it's going to be your charging port. There's two speakers on the bottom. I know. Are, are those definitely two speakers or is a speaker and those a mic? Those are actually definitely two speakers. There's another one dead center right here above the T-Mobile logo. Okay. You're looking at here is a front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera. Okay. On the back is a mighty 8 megapixel camera. That is mighty. With an LED flash. Okay. And on your top right here is a micro HDMI cable port. Gotcha. Okay. Now the, I'm sorry, the, no, the no. silver on the back, um, is that is that just uh, aesthetic or is that a kickstand, the, the silver banding under the... It's actually just the standard back. Um, and then keep in mind, this is a prototype. Um, so this is not final version. Okay. So that could possibly change. All right, gotcha. Okay, thank you, Erica. Um, it, would it be possible for us to take a look at uh, the browser? Absolutely. Let's see if we got this hooked up here. Put your browser key there. There we go. Okay, and, and I know some of our readers enjoy looking at pocketnow.com. Um, it would be possible to bring that up. Absolutely. And that's a swipe keyboard you're using. Absolutely. Oh, I think there was someone had typed it in with like an an, an N in there. In there. Let's see if it finds it. Gosh, try again. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, here's another site. It's not actually Pocket Now, but it has Pocket Now in the headline, which we're pretty happy with. That's great. Yeah, let's see, the site would be right there. There we go. So I think it'll first load up, load up the mobile version, then you can scroll to the bottom of the page, and the desktop version's available. And so, Pocket Now is a pretty, um, pretty um, resource-intensive site. Got a lot of pictures, flash to load, etc. So it seems pretty snappy. Got pinch to zoom.
So everything pretty zippy here, and um, now that this is not running final um, final firmware, as you said. Correct. Okay. Yeah, this is still a prototype device. Okay. And again, stock Android, all the different screens. And also, what you can do is you can actually see on how fast the processor is by how fast it opens and scrolls through the applications. Another cool way to do this. I'm going to go into my uh, media player here. Nice. Um, and we've got a little uh, demo loop here, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this. Okay. Um, one cool thing that you'll notice on here, um, it actually is going to be in DTS sound, so digital theater sound. Okay. So now, and I'm sorry, DTS is um, is one of the two competing um, surround sound standards along with uh, Dolby Digital. So to clarify. So we decided to go with DTS. The great thing about that is it's going to give you a simulated surround sound on the device. Now the great thing is if you hook that HDMI up to another source such as a TV, what you're going to get is that sound uh, that surround sound will actually transfer over. Um, do you have D is this a DLNA capable device? This is a DLNA capable device. Um, it's what we call smart share technology. So it not only being able to send and receive, but it can also be used as a controller too. So the great thing about that is I can actually go to a NOS or a media player or a notebook computer and I can actually tell that to send a file or a media file to another device such as a TV. Sure. Which is great. Um, one thing on here, and this is what I like to demonstrate as far as the capabilities of the processor, is buffer speed. We all know that sometimes there's a little bit of latency, a little bit of delay in this. Right. But if I tap the screen here and then I scroll back a little bit, um, you're going to notice the zero latency on here. It's immediately going to go to that next image. And I'll do it again here. Um, you can see how fast that's going to render through. Wow. So that's a great capability. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, um, Chad. We really appreciate uh, you walking us through this. And again, this is the uh, T-Mobile G2X from LG coming out this spring.